Hey there folks, I hope everybody's having an awesome Friday and this is where I talk about fish tank type stuff and things. Okay. Um, in front of you, in front of my aquarium I should say, are some things that I'm going to be talking about. Now, I absolutely love helping people with their aquariums. Um, helping folks prepare a safe, happy, and healthy environment for their fish. That being said, in no way do I claim to know it all. Um, there are plenty of folks out there who have been doing this a lot longer than I have, but I do enjoy sharing what I do know. So whether you're a veteran who is just brushing up on your knowledge or a, a new member to this hobby, I hope you take the time to watch my videos and either ask any questions you might have or to give me some advice. A particular aspect of this hobby that is often uh, common to inexperienced fish keepers or newcomers are hang on back filters, HOB hob filters. As you can see, uh, the, the middle box, it's an Aquion quiet flow. The, every one of these hang on back filters come with a, a filter media, media, a cartridge that you're supposed to use for a month and throw away and replace with a new one. Um, turns out, this is one of the worst things that you can do for a healthy tank, and it's a horrible aspect of this hobby. Um, a lot of them also come with um, carbon. Some uh, you add the carbon yourself, some the carbon's in there and you can't get it out. Um, you don't want carbon in plants it takes because the carbon removes nutrients that the plants use and if you're medicating a tank you don't want carbon because it might negate the effects of medication. Um, the problem is that the, the companies that sell these products um, they're trying to make money on folks who have already bought their filters. So they tell you that you need to purchase these cartridge filters on a monthly basis. Um, the problem with that is the vast majority of your beneficial bacteria live inside your filter media. So by throwing it away and replacing it, you are literally throwing away a huge piece of your biofilter into the trash. And this can lead to many cycles, ammonia spikes, and very unhappy fish. So instead of buying um, uh, new cartridges, what you should do is go to your local fish store and buy a new filter media. This here is a piece of filter media that goes to my Fluval. And when my current uh, filter media is no longer viable, um, this is going into it. Here are the cartridges. That's from the old Tetra Whisper filter that you can buy. Um, you open it up and you put the carbon inside. What I do is I keep the, the frame, toss the carbon, and I'll go ahead and put fluval pre-filter into it. Um, the cartridge that came with the quiet flow came with this filter and it has carbon inside of it. I can't get it out, so tossing it. I'm not going to use it. Um, I just took one of the empty filter uh, cartridges here, stuffed it with the Fluval pre-filter, and put it into the quiet flow. And I already have a healthy colony of beneficial bacteria in it. So a very important rule of fish keeping is you never throw away a filter until it is literally falling apart. Um, what you can do if it starts to get clogged up with fish crap or gunk, when you do a partial water change, take your dirty filter media. Do not use tap water. Do not use tap water. You're already doing a water change. Take some of your old water out of your tank into a bucket and swish this around or pour some water onto it to, to kind of clean it up. That way you don't kill off your beneficial bacteria and stick it back into your filter. Now, when you're getting to the point that it does need to be replaced, uh, don't just throw it away. Buy a new piece of filter media or something that you have on hand and stuff it into your filter next to your old one and leave it there as long as possible. That way the old filter can seed the new one with the beneficial bacteria and when you do have to throw away your old one, 
you already have a new one in there ready to go. Oftentimes these bio bag refills will come with carbon inserts. Don't need those, toss them. I actually have the, the instructions here to the uh, Aquion QuietFlow and I don't know if you can see it, but the first thing it says is filter cartridge should be replaced monthly. No, no, do not throw away your filter media unless it's literally falling apart because that is where your beneficial bacteria reside. That's where most of it resides. Uh, most of us know that it grows on virtually every surface of your tank, on the walls, in the gravel, um, on the plants, on the little ceramic octopus or mermaid that you might have. Um, but it especially loves the oxygen-rich environment inside your filter. That's why it's so vital to never throw away a filter unless it's falling apart, no longer viable. And before you throw it away, stuff a new piece of filter media in next to it so that the, some of the bacteria can transfer over. When I first got into fish keeping many years ago, this was something that I was ignorant of. I had a, a 20 gallon tank and whenever the uh, filter media on the HOB filter got clogged up, I toss it, put a new one in, and it caused me problems. And not, not all the time, but uh, I noticed that my fish would uh, hang out at the surface, they'd breathe heavily. Every now and then I would lose one. But um, yeah, this is just something to, to, to keep in mind. I hope some of you find this information useful. Um, if there's anything uh, you could expand on, feel free to leave a comment down below. Maybe hit the like button, favorite if you really like it. And of course, a big thanks to all my new subscribers. Have a good one.